What about you? Bad boy, it's kind of racist, sexist, or morally sound guy, nice guy? Uh, I'm going to marry the uh, morally sound man, and then I'm going to fuck the guy who could fuck. <laughs> you, you Red lens is on. Yeah, that's, Red lens is on. Pretty, that's pretty real. Uh, do you cheat on your current man? Is it cheating yeah. if you have the conversation? So it's open on your end. I mean, if I let you know, then what's the issue? <laughs> okay. So it's open. Wow. I just be, tr- be truthful. Be straight about it. Is that's he open is. or no? I found a man who lives in the middle of nowhere. He's not doing anything. <laughs> Bro, so you're having no, fun traveling wow. and stuff. Okay. No. So, okay, question. Because, all right, so it's an open like relationship for both of you or just open on your side? I never said it was open. I just said that we have communication. If there's something I do, I'm going to go and talk to him about it and say, hey, look, this is what I did. Are you okay with it or not okay with it? If you're not okay with it, then leave me. If you're not morally okay with that, then go ahead oh, and go. Oh, so you'll, you'll, you, sure, you shoot first, ask questions later. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> okay, so you don't, even, you don't run it by him. You just do what you want and then just tell him after. I'm going to let him know for sure. That's yeah. crazy. Okay, so hypothetically. I'm not saying I've done that yet, but that, that that's the situation. That's I've the done cap. it before. I've done it before in relationships. That's Do you what... think this guy, like hypothetically speaking, let's say you found a guy here in Miami and you hooked up with him and you went back to, same, <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> to Missouri and said, hey, I hooked up with a guy in Miami. Do you think he'd be okay with that? It's not possible because I won't be hooking up with any boys in Miami. But hypo- I'm no. asking a hypothetical yeah, question. There's no chance. <laughs> the, the person I am, they could never. Nobody here is ever going to get it. Now, if you find me out in the middle of the woods with some cowboys, then yeah, he could ask that question. And yeah, I'm going to ask. I'm going I'm to tell him later. I'm going to tell him afterwards. Confidence yeah. is startling. I'm going to tell him afterwards. It- I'm, I'm just saying hypothetically. I'm going to pick up the phone and be like, hey, I think this man's really fucking odd. He's turning me on. Can I go fuck him? <laughs> Like, yeah, so you're just gonna weird. he's you're just gonna cook. do it. Yeah, you're just gonna no, do it. It's not weird. Yeah. yeah okay. So if, if if I really feel the need to be with someone, then that's what I'm gonna do. Just a and wall? then I'm gonna question myself the next day <laughs> of like, just... do I really do I really like the man I'm with if I just let some other boy spoon me? Like that's that's you know that that's a conversation I'm gonna have afterwards. Okay. And, and that's not even a car- if I if I'm spooned by some little boy, then I, I didn't like the guy I was with. All right. So to me, it sounds like you got a guy now. But if something better comes along, you're going to entertain it and you're not going to like miss out on that opportunity. Um, yeah. And then you will tell him after the fact, yo, I found somebody else or I did this. Uh, not and then he's just got to deal with it. Uh, not long term. I wouldn't let it escalate too far. I would let them know immediately like, hey, you know, I, I like immediately. Damn. The, the, you would let what? Cowboy know or the guy that you got <laughs> with just now? You would tell him? Oh, the boy I would just get with now. He would know I already have somebody. Okay. And, and, and let's be honest. They're not going to care. <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly. They're gonna do it anyway. That part. So, but your but your boyfriend, you're gonna tell him. You're gonna do what you want, and then you're gonna just tell him after the fact. Are you okay with like, like potential consequences of him leaving you or anything? Or are you that confident he's not going nowhere? It's not that I'm that confident that he's not going where. It's more of the fact of like if I let him know, like, hey, look, I fit. Fa- That's the part about relationships. Like, hey, look, I misstepped. I fucked up. Here is what it is. If you absolutely hate me after this conversation awesome but at least i feel good on my conscience that i came and talked to you about it <laughs> good on your conscience. Yeah, conscience if you decide to leave me because of me coming to you and being straight about it then that is what it is that's all, that's your decision to make this as a person yeah. just like i have my decision to make too and my decision was to be straight with you do you respect so. your man like really respect him no. nope i mean we've been together for six <laughs> months uh, yeah, okay 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 yeah. that, uh, uh, i would um <laughs> Uh, I mean, just I from can't. I would I, I would can't, uh, I can't with that. I would label your boyfriend as a placeholder. Placeholder is basically boyfriend. what it is. Uh, He's yep. kind of Cuck. you're you're you, you know call him that. you're, you're out in the that. middle of you nowhere. Know, nowhere. <laughs> There's not many options out there, so you're like, you know what, this guy does the job for me out here. Oh no 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 no! I didn't say I'm in the middle of nowhere. I live in the city and I travel all the time. I said he's in the middle of nowhere, so I don't have to worry about him doing anything. That's what I said. I said my man. I'm not gonna find my man out doing something with some girl because. What, where are the girls at? She's the boss, man. Yeah, she's where are the, the girls at? Yeah, she's Interesting. Wow. Hey. He's a good boy that keeps his ass at home. That's oh, what I have a question. You call him a so boy? Do you oh, think that that's fair to him? That's like, crazy. if the shoe was on the bro. other foot and, like, he found a job that, like, he could, like, travel and he started traveling and he was doing the same thing you were doing, how would you feel about that in that situation? Because right now it seems like because he can't go anywhere and he's in the middle of nowhere, as you put it, <laughs> that you're taking advantage and you're like, okay, I'm going to oh, do what shit. I want. But if the shoe was on the other foot... Your feelings would be fucked. No offense, like no Point offense, period. but no, they would I, be. I've been in that situation. I'm good with it. I'm, I'm good with it. I'm an open person. I don't so. think you're that open though, yeah. because you're, like I, I, I said, I feel like this. you're taking advantage of the situation because he can't go anywhere. But if he were to, he I would say, <laughs> find somewhere. If he were to find somewhere, or whatever, and he Beast. had like he could mm-hmm. travel or whatever or do something, and he was doing the same thing you were doing, you would feel very, very, very in your feelings. 
I would so tell I don't him think that that's fair. if you feel like that's what you want to do, please make yourself happy. Because at the end of the day, we're all getting buried by ourselves. So I just hope that whatever. She don't like him that much, man. Yeah. 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 She doesn't like him that much. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't like him that much. You should leave him alone so you can find someone nice. Real talk. This is actually for the audience. Is he a real alpha male? This is the definition of a placeholder boyfriend, guys. I mean, you guys are getting it right here, right now. Like this is the definition of a placeholder boyfriend. Call him a boy. Call him a boy. Yeah. Yo, you're not playing. You little demon. God damn, man. Okay. Shut up, Jay Waller, man. So yeah.